behind the scenes. I know, we just <laughs> filmed a new, well, two new YouTube videos. Two! And this is gonna be part of the vlog. So this yes. is vlogception, videoception. <laughs> Morning. It is Monday morning and I just listened to this podcast that Kaylee actually posted about on her story. It's called Rewiring My Brain to View Content Creation and Instagram Differently and it's by Pauline, like P-A-W-L-E-A-N. And I really, really enjoyed this episode because as I was listening to it, I was identifying with a lot of the different things that she was saying of feeling like the pressure to post all the time and feeling like you're posting for other people instead of for yourself. And so I thought it might be fun to do an Instagram break myself this week. So this video is going to be all about taking a break from Instagram for five days. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the Instagram app. I'm not going to use it except to promote a video. So I'm posting a vlog on Sister Codes on Wednesday. And so I will go on like the Sister Codes Instagram and then tag both Kaylee and myself. And then I'll repost it on my story just to promote the video so people know that it's out there. But other than that, I'm not going to post anything on Instagram and I'm just going to delete the app and basically forget about it for the entire week. So. I'm excited to do it because I think I've needed an Instagram break for a while now. One thing that I realized is that the people who I actually care about are not on Instagram that much. So one of my best friends actually doesn't have Instagram and so I send her photos on Messenger and I will send her updates that way. Like everything that I post on Instagram that I think, oh everyone in my life knows about this, she doesn't and so I have to send her photos individually and I posted a video on my personal account a couple days ago I think it was yesterday actually and I was like practicing guitar and I was singing that new song Nothing New by uh, Taylor Swift featuring Phoebe Bridgers and like three of my good friends responded to my story and it kind of just made me think like why am I posting this on my story for I don't know however many people to see when really the people I want to share it with is like three different people um it just kind of yeah reminded me that i should be sharing things just with the people that i want to so anyways i'm gonna delete the app and we'll see how the week goes hey everyone it's kaylee i know i've been absent in a lot of the recent sister codes vlogs it's been kind of crazy. I recently wrote a blog post about my journey finding a path back from burnout. If you all already know, um, if, and if you don't, I will link the video here, but I burnt out really hard at the beginning of this year, slash also kind of at the end of last year, but it kind of caused me to take a step back from everything that I was doing that included YouTube, included the podcast that I produced with Ashley, it included my blog, my Instagram, pretty much everything. I wanted to just kind of scale it back. I started a new job. I really wanted to focus on onboarding and getting situated there. Um, and I'm really excited to say that I'm finally at a point where I feel like I can resume some of my content creating activities, which I'm very excited about, but I also don't want to jump in too fast and overdo it. So this is definitely going to be a process, but I'm really excited to make this vlog with Ashley and start to have some more of my life and the things that are happening kind of creep in. But um, yeah, just wanted to say that's why I've been absent. And if you're in the same spot, definitely feel free to take a break. It's that time of year where people start to get really burnt out and it's very important to prioritize your health. We are making cinnamon rolls. Got our flour here and we're about to knead the dough on here. Oh, wait, let me get you in the, in the shop. Hello. Okay. Eight minutes. Eight to ten. A really fantastic way to blow off some stress is by baking. Ashley and I love finding new recipes and sharing them with each other and then spending some time baking whatever it is that we want to eat from scratch. It's also a really great way to just see what actually goes into the food that you're eating. Something like cinnamon rolls takes so much care and so much time and it makes it taste just that much better at the end of the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A bit less. Yeah. Yeah, and then you only have to 
gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> it really does, doesn't it? flower that, don't you? Do we have to seal it first before we cut it? Do I have to seal it before I cut it? Um, it said seam side down is what it said. Okay, seam side down. I don't think it said anything about sealing it. Actually, this one makes <laughs> like 15 cinnamon rolls. Just cut it into nine. So wait, don't you need to start in the middle? That's how they always do. Yeah. Really? Yep. Yeah. Right here? Uh -huh. <laughs> what? What else is it? I don't know. Um, oh my gosh! Beautiful. Do we have a swirl. We have a swirl. Okay. Okay. And then what are we doing here? Do it from here again. I don't like that word. It means imperfect. That's what I hear. At this point, the cinnamon rolls needed to prove and it ended up proving for nearly three hours. So for your sake, we're gonna show you the rest of our day and cut to when they come out of the oven. Hey everyone, so I'm about to hop on a call. It's for the women in tech group that I'm a part of. I'm gonna connect with my other co-lead about some early pipeline stuff, um, but I just wanted to give a quick update. I think I've reached for my phone to check Instagram like an embarrassing amount of times already, probably like 10 different times. Although sometimes I'll just open my phone and I'll automatically go to swipe to where the app was. And so I feel like it's more of a reflex than anything else. And then, when I feel the impulse to check, I'm just like, you know what? It's okay. Nobody is probably messaged. It's all right. Um, everyone has my like contact information if they actually want to message me. Um, there aren't friends basically that I exclusively uh, message on Instagram, so that's all good. Um, but I think I might make a rule for myself where I can check it like once a day just to check messages, just to see if friends have messaged me on there because I know. I do use Instagram as the main form of communication, even though I have like Messenger and I can message them other places as well. I think I just said message like five million times. But anyways, I'm about to hop on my call and then I'm going to get back to trying to fix all of these eclipse issues, which are so frustrating. I just can't wait to see like no red X's because there's red X's everywhere right now because there's a bunch of build issues. So yeah. And here's the finished product. Even though they took forever to make and were a ton of work, Ashley and I were so happy with how these turned out. We really liked this recipe, so we'll be sure to link it down below so you all can try it for yourselves. You know what I was uh, looking at, Kaylee? I was reading about how they use like props in movies, like paper bags. They have special paper bags that don't crinkle as much, mm -hmm. so it's not as loud. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I was telling you about Hey, everybody. It's happy. What is it, Thursday? Happy Thursday. Um, my team has basically had an on-site this week that I had to cancel. I did not get to travel to New York to see all my team and do like our next year planning, which was a huge bummer, but it was really just to be on the side of caution, especially with all the rising cases and everything. Um, so I've had back-to-back -back meetings. It's now four o'clock. This is the first prank that I've had since 12.30, and, which is wild, this like never happens, but I'm so hungry, and Ashley made these really good chocolate 
peppermint cookies. Um, we'll link the recipe below because they're awesome. They're kind of like a chocolate cake and peppermint and chocolate chip cookie all in one. Um, so I'm getting my first break. I'm coffee. I'm so tired right now. And yeah, after that, hopefully I'll get like another hour to do some coding and merge some PRs that I've had outstanding for a little bit now. Um, it's been a very busy week. So yeah. <laughs> As many of you know, we live on a homestead in Vermont, and we are so lucky to be able to look up from our work and see a beautiful landscape like this one. We've been getting a ton of snow recently, which has been really fantastic for sledding, building snowmen, and just enjoying the view. Ooh, that's starting to smell real good. A little caramelization. My favorite thing is making minestrone soup. I love making minestrone. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, I'm so excited for this. I bet it's gonna sense the temperature as it starts brewing. Oh, look at the little purple that I customized. the temperature of my coffee as it's brewing oh this is so cool I love technology oh my goodness so we're going to talk about iOS and on iOS is called voiceover and it's primarily used by users with uh, visual disabilities, like what the camera is going to be used for. So after I went through, after this, I like went through and enabled, you know, access and all this stuff. And it does say eventually that it will be used for Spotify scan code. Um, but I, yeah, this is somewhere where I think an accessibility hit would be super useful to say like open camera button, you know, like something about Spotify scan code. Um, hey everyone, it is Friday and I wanted to give a brief recap of my week without Instagram. So I did download Instagram again a couple of times just because I gave a talk for Women Who Code Mobile and they posted some videos of me giving my talk and Kaylee also recorded some so I wanted to you know reshare them and then save them to my highlights so that's one of the reasons why I downloaded it a couple of times. I also did check it a couple of times just to message people because there are some people who I only basically message on Instagram. So I needed to check a couple times uh, for coordinating some different plans and things like that. I wanted to talk a little bit about the pros and the cons of deleting Instagram for the week. So some of the pros are that I really, you know, had the time to step away from it and step back and think, what am I actually using Instagram for? Like, why am I feeling the need to post every single day or post the newest reel or follow the latest trend or something like that like is that really what's making me happy um am i just trying to grow my account as fast as possible or am i actually creating quality content that i enjoy and i feel like i'm not creating quality content that i enjoy i definitely love youtube videos more and just youtube as a platform in general because it does feel like you are you know creating something more long lasting which i appreciate and with Instagram and creating reels and all these different things, it just feels so short term, which I don't really like. I also just realized how much headspace Instagram was taking up for me. Sometimes I would go and I would try and tap on the specific part of my phone where the app used to be. And then I would realize that I wasn't even looking for a specific thing. Like I wasn't wanting to look at a certain person's account or anything like that. It was kind of just a habit of me going through and then swiping and then tapping on it. Another thing that I noticed when I deleted Instagram is that I would still be looking for different photos or videos that I could post to Instagram. Like I would be, I don't know, eating something and I would think, oh, I should take a picture of this or I should post this funny thing that I saw. Um, yeah, so that's kind of also what I was thinking about, about how you don't need to share everything that's going on in your life. Um, I think it's a good practice to just, you know, delete Instagram for a bit and then realize you should be doing things because you want to do them, not because they look good for Instagram or because they're shareable on Instagram, which I think is pretty intuitive and easy to say, but it's a lot more difficult once you actually delete the app and you realize how many things you're doing just because they look good or something like that. 
Um, I also want to talk about the cons though. So one of the things that I miss the most was seeing people's stories, uh, people who I watch their stories basically every single day, like Dana Script and Sam Taylor.css and Michaela Karen. Um, and I really did miss seeing their stories and like responding to them because we talk like a, quite a few times a week, I would say. And I just missed, you know, seeing their daily lives and like what they were getting up to. That's one of the things I do love the most about Instagram is that whole community aspect. But I don't know about the trade off between like that community aspect versus all the things about Instagram that I don't like anymore. So I think that going forward, I still will be on Instagram and things like that. And I really want to see people's stories, but I might just use the desktop version of it instead so that it's not on my phone and I'm not checking it every day when I wake up and I'm not constantly thinking about what do I need to post or what's the next trend that I need to hop on. So I think that I can still be on stories and interact with people that way and still get that community aspect, but maybe not post as much, maybe just draw back a little bit and focus more of my time and my energy into YouTube because I really do love YouTube as a platform and just you know creating content on here it feels more long-lasting and it feels more impactful I suppose so yeah I just wanted to recap and let y'all know what you know my week off Instagram was like even though I did you know download it a couple times for different reasons and it definitely wasn't one of those experiences where I feel like oh everything is much better when Instagram is gone and deleted because I really did miss you know the community aspect of it but maybe there's like a different way that I can interact with Instagram to make it more healthy and more sustainable I guess because in the way I was using it before I don't think it was very healthy so yeah that's my little recap from my week without Instagram